are the causes? Why are we Americans on the march? Is it because of... Pearl Harbor? Is that why we are fighting? What put us into uniform, ready to engage the enemy on every continent and every ocean? What are these two worlds of which Mr. Wallace spoke? The free and the slave. Let's take the free world first, our world. How did it become free? Only through a long and unceasing struggle inspired by men of vision. Moses. Muhammad. Confucius. believe that in the sight of God all men were created equal and from that there developed a spirit among men and nations which is best expressed in our own declaration of freedom we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal it is the cornerstone upon which our nation was built and the ideal of all the great liberators Washington Jefferson Garibaldi Lafayette, Kosciuszko, Bolivar, Lincoln. Lighthouses, lighting up a dark and foggy world. The government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Fighting, living, dying, for what? For freedom. That for which men have fought since time began, to be free. Is life so dear or peace so sweet that to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, almighty God. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. But what of this other world? Here, men insisted that progress lay in killing freedom. Here, they were putting out the lighthouses, one by one. Here, the march of history was reversing itself. In Italy, it began when an ambitious rabble-rouser set his followers marching on Rome. The country, like every other country after the last war, was torn by political unrest, hard times, unemployment. 